Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's currently the evening of Thanksgiving here in the US and I was being called to do another twin flame reading, okay? So we're gonna check in on the divine masculine and see where they're at, what are their feelings towards the feminine. And um, I know those of you in the States, sometimes these holidays could feel really heavy or bring back memories. Oh, I just heard that song in my head. Because the memories bring back, memories bring back you. All right, so um, you could just feel a lot of emotional, mental, physical symptoms. Kind of like you got hit by a truck almost, right? A lot of reminders. So um, I feel like because, you know, those who have been on the journey a long time have experienced a lot of really hard holidays. Perhaps this one isn't as bad, but it just brings you back. All right, so we're just going to really get started into the Divine Masculine. Where is the Masculine at right now? How are they feeling? Let's do how are they feeling, their thinking, and what they feel towards the Feminine. Okay? This is how they're feeling. I keep getting the solo energy, guys. This could also mean that they feel kind of lonely thinking and feeling towards the feminine wow uh, the memories bring back memories bring back you okay the king of cups is that they have a lot of emotions towards the feminine so don't think you're the only one on this boat of being reminded okay um they're thinking that they can't get over the feminine here with the chariot reverse they've tried to move on and they're in a solo energy some of you guys may have had a recent situation with your Divine Masculine, or maybe you haven't, or something has come up specifically like around that, like a wound or something. So, it okay, so usually I see Nine of Pentacles as a very positive thing. It's a solo energy. It's self-sufficient. It's independent. It's learning how to stand on your own. And... Um, and I, I think it still could be this, right? It is it's like literally, guys, if there's one card that indicates solo energy, it's this. Some of you guys may see that your masculine has someone um, or is it still in a karmic situation, but they feel very independent right now, okay? But I also feel there's a part of them kind of drowning in that. These, This is a water sign energy, Cancer, and this is... I see King of Cups of Scorpio. Someone recently said it was Pisces and I kind of looked into it and there is some indication that it could be Pisces as well, but it doesn't even have to be a water sign. It's just someone who's, I feel they're kind of drowning. Now I am using the mermaid tarot, so it's easy to kind of, but they're trying to come up for air. It's interesting because I actually had a sensation today of like, I wasn't starving of oxygen, but I felt like um, I was joking around on a call about how air just tastes so good. I'm, just, I'm so nourished by air and I felt myself really breathing deeply into air. So that uh, doesn't really make sense, but like really like hung, no, not air hunger because I felt that before, but it's like coming up for a breath of fresh air okay so they could feel kind of suffocated perhaps if either you're in the states they're um spending time with family and they're just trying to get some alone time i kind of see them stepping outside to have a drink okay have a cigarette have whatever they do all right let's get clarity on these so i want clarity on the nine of pentacles and clarity on the chariot reverse what's this masculine feeling independent the clarity on the Nine of Pentacles, please. <clears throat> the Tower. Oh my God, you guys. Something recently happened. And the Strength. Wow. So they're like, God, give me the Strength. And we have three major Arcanas and the Hangman. All right. I'm kind of feeling someone's got caught with something. Okay. Now, they could have got caught by a partner or they could, definitely someone got caught with something, guys. There was a major upheaval. Like, you see the net in both of these? Someone was waiting for the right time to catch someone here on something. We have Pisces, Leo, and this is Mars energy, which could be Aries. It could be Scorpio as well. Scorpio coming up twice. Someone was waiting for the right time to catch someone here. What's the chariot reversed about? <clears throat> Mm, a lot of cards all right we have seven of pentacles which she's like pregnant there 
someone maybe impregnated someone. Four of Swords reversed. Someone didn't wait to do something. And Five of Swords. Wow. <clears throat> this is what they're thinking. The clarity on the chariot. I feel like they're like, what did I do? Okay, so someone feels caught. Someone might feel stuck because they got someone pregnant and now they feel stuck. All right. I actually want to get clarity on the King of Cups as well. Nine of Cups. Okay. Well, I feel like this is their sort of, their heart of hearts is there's this, is this desire for something emotionally. Okay. Let's get clarity on the Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups. They want to walk away. They feel stuck. I mean, same, it's the same old song but the difference since you've been gone wow okay i'm gonna use this christmas deck since now officially i guess we could get into christmas energy right because thanksgiving is almost over here in the states um all right so what what's the more energy of the divine masculine here it's the same old song but the difference now since you've been gone. I don't even know the words to that song, but that's kind of how it goes. What is their deal? I feel like they've also been feeling kind of jealous. I feel with the Five of Swords, like competitive or jealous about something uh, bitter too with the feminine. Cardinal medicine. Some of you guys may be seeing Cardinals. Number three, this thyself bleeds of sacredness and honor fit for the gods. You are worth all the seas and all the skies and all the desires you hold inside. I literally said the word desires. Something about desires being denied and people really thinking about what it is that they really want. And a cardinal could also be cardinal sign, which is Aries, Capricorn, Libra, and what's the other cardinal sign? Wow, I can't think of it. Cancer. Cardinal is very direct and straightforward, and it's very, like, determined. That's why, you know, Capricorns are determined. All those signs are very determined. Oh, my God. And then we had Perseverance, and we had Strength. So there's something unyielding, like, um, unwavering about something within the masculine that they are determined to, to get or to find out, I'm hearing. Stay in thy power, dear child, for thy lonely is never alone. When the world is dreadful upon thy turn to the spirits within thy. Okay, so I feel like you could feel like... Okay, so I feel like the feminines could feel like this silence. You know, it's actually so interesting because the last couple days I've been waking up channeling um, Enjoy the Silence... Or what is it? Depeche Mode? Um, I have a wanted... All I ever needed is here in your arms. Words are very unnecessary. They can only do wrong. Okay, so um, that song has been coming up lately. Those words are un the words are unnecessary. There's des something about desire. All I ever wanted, all I ever needed is here in your arms. Wow, guys. All right, let's get some messages from them. All right, the bottom of this deck says we had to go our separate ways. Please focus on yourself. Time to grow and find your inner strength. Strength once again. All right, um, but this situation, whatever you guys are in, is helping you grow your strength. Whatever it is you're going through could be a vast array of experiences. Let's, um, let's get some messages from your person here, your divine masculine. What do they want to say to you? This is the Twin Flame Messenger Oracle. Trust in the universe. Believe in the divine plan. Yes, we both feel the same way. Twin souls are mirroring. I feel like you guys could have been triggered, though, with something recent that reminded them you of something very negative. I took you for granted. I'm truly sorry. I don't feel like their actions, though, align with these feelings that they have. What else is new, right? So, um, actually, I'm going to use my relationship design cards. Let's get some last clarity on this. What I kind of want to know, like, their motives right now with what they're doing. That's what I want to know. What is the Divine Masculine's motives? Let's see. This is a deck I created, relationship design cards. What are their motives? And what are they up to here? What are their motives and what are they up to? 
here. Alignment. Balanced, stable, and satisfied. Okay. Happily ever after. And special, different, stands out, favorite. You guys, I feel like they're dreaming. You could have a lot of dreams lately too. I feel like they have this undercover dream world of their like absolute thing that they want. And I feel like it's you, the feminine. Um, and oh my God, passion, create, combust, desire. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a desire, guys. So take that as it is. Um, it's like they're cooking up something here. I don't know, but they're dreaming of the feminine and they're desiring the feminine. And ultimately, they do want to be together. But then we have sadness here on the bottom, tears, pain, longing. There you go. But um, I know a lot of your feminine, your masculines don't show this. So that's kind of why I'm like, all right, let's see. Let's get one more card for like advice. And like what's holding them back. Because I feel like I'm not getting to the crux of them. Advice and what's holding them back. advice with the situation there's like a mosquito in my room or something and it's like biting me as I do this reading lioness you've earned all your stripes we had the strength which is the lioness number 13 and dragon slay them all I don't know why I just got this feeling that a lot of people have told you things that have like negated what you felt or what you thought and this is like trust yourself because you are the lot you are the lioness be be sure of yourself and don't listen to anyone and just keep going your own way okay six and thirteen all right guys i hope this reading resonates thank you guys for being here i love you guys and i'll see you soon bye